lovely ladies. How are we? Hello. Hello. I am so happy to have the Proud family back and to have the cast back, which I never would have imagined after all this time. Uh, Kyla, what is it like for you to revisit Penny and, you know, bring her 20 years into the future? It is an absolutely amazing feeling. I never thought it was going to happen. It was something that I filmed when I was 14, 15 years old. I've always loved it, but I just looked at it like, hey, it was, it's over, I guess. I love these people, but I'll see them in passing. And literally, fans of the show have been wanting it for years. I, I always joke everywhere I go, somebody's threatening me or twittering <laughs> me or DMing me, like, why are you not bringing it back? I'm like, why are you yelling at me? I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna I'm call the people, but it's not okay. And so now it's just like to finally, and then when we announced that it was coming, it was like, okay, when? I'm like, dang, can we put it together first? Uh, so when we finally got a date, I was like, oh, we got a date. Yes, no more threats. Yes. No more. <laughs> be, I mean, they were like, they were like uh, if, a, if a threat could be loving, if, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been an amazing experience to mm-hmm. bring something from when I was 14 years old to now be a part of this, this family still and to be a mother and have my kids have something mm-hmm. that they can watch and enjoy and, you know, and that can help guide them like it guided me and so many others. I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. Mm-hmm. We've always been unapologetic. We've always talked about things that not everyone wanted to talk about things that they mm-hmm. shied away from. And we're doing the same thing now, but 2022 style, baby. <laughs> I love that. Now, if anyone can make loving threats, it would be Sugar Mama. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited to see more of the dynamic between her and Penny, especially when they team up against Oscar. Uh, can you talk about <laughs> being the matriarch of this household in 2022? You know, it's an everlasting love uh, between me and Penny. And uh, although Sugar Mama loves all of them, Mm -hmm. even Oscar, I think sometimes deep down inside because he's so needy and all that, she might even love him more than she loves Bobby. She just (laughs) says it because she wants him to be a high achiever, you know? Mm -hmm. And it goes back, it goes back to 20 years ago when she had to encourage Oscar, you know, not to feel like a loser or whatever, and this, that, and the other. And all, and, and I think that's what makes him constantly try. But, and I know that he loves Penny. Oscar loves Penny the way I love Penny, mm-hmm. but in a different way. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's his first born Ikeda story. She's my first grandchild. She's his first child. Mm-hmm. So that love is always going to be there. That, that, that tension is going to always be there also. And uh, but like I said, you know, I told Kyla she was practice for me with my granddaughter who was 13, Aww. 14, who wasn't born 20 years ago. And also that relationship is gonna be there. And like she said, you know, struggling through life and all that's happening now, and then because the world is such a different world, it's it's uh it's a wonderful thing and a blessing to have somebody that you can talk to about these things that you can't talk to your parents about. Absolutely. She may go to school with some kids like my daughter, my granddaughter goes to school with some kids that are transgender and they had an issue about the bathrooms and things like that. Mm -hmm. So at that age, when they're at that crossroads, it's very important that they have somebody that they feel like they can talk to who's going to listen to them. And that's the relationship that Penny and Sugar Mama have. And we are addressing issues like that with family members who are, who are family members, no matter what, Mm -hmm. whatever their choices are. Oh, I love that so much. (laughs) I also love the introduction of new characters like Maya and KG and what they, you know, the spice they bring to Penny's life. Can you talk about how she feels about these newcomers? Um, I think we have a, a lot of amazing new characters and it's great to show different different, different personalities and different, mm-hmm. different people and different views on life. And, um, you know, Penny is always the one that wants everybody to be all up in her business because she's the center mm-hmm. of everyone's world, of course. And if she's not, she doesn't understand why. Uh, <laughs> so uh, some, some people don't, uh, don't, don't like that, that she's that needy. Um, and some people mm-hmm. do. Some people are just, uh, you know, drawn to her. So I know I can't give away too much, but I know that we do, um, talk a lot about the character Michael who's played by EJ Johnson yes. added to the mm-hmm. cast. and it's it's adding to what Joe Marie said earlier it's basically showing different parts of everybody's world and mm-hmm. I really feel like growing up and as a kid but 
as an adult as well, to see someone on TV that looks like you or acts like you or vibes like you, you know, mm -hmm. it helps you feel not alone. And I think that mm -hmm. these new characters are going to help in that way, in so many ways. Like we have, we have, uh, I think, uh, um, Kiki Palmer's uh, parents on the, mm -hmm. they're both dad, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. to show mm -hmm. that aspect of, you know, what the real world looks like, you know, it's not mm -hmm. just one thing that society claims is that's okay. Mm -hmm. that's what we're going to show. Right. Well, it, it's, and, it's, and, and it's also okay. If you're ashamed, it's okay. If you hurt, mm -hmm. all of that is okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to show you that that matters too, until people learn and understand that what's most important is that, that you love everybody and that you respect everybody and that you see everybody as something that really matters. You see the importance of everybody and why they're here. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. You come in and you watch the Proud Family, loud and proud, and we're going to be shouting. It's okay <laughs> for you to be who you are. Exactly. What and you you're, everyone will be loud and proud too. After and we, are, we are a family, not just, not just one, we are family in general. Oh, I love that. We're all right. very right. different, That's but right. we're all very much the same human beings yes. going through the same similar experiences and just mm -hmm. love one another and respect one another. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. Thank you both so much. I love mm -hmm. the first two episodes that I saw. I cannot wait to see 200 more. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, thank, you. thank you. Have thank a great you. day.